In this video, you will learn how to use your recently designed header and buttons to personalize your homepage. Remember, customizing your homepage is the same as customizing a content page in Canvas. The process and steps are the same. Let's put it all together. I currently have this Blue Valley Blueprint template as my course design, but I'd like to change the header to one I created and add buttons to my homepage. I recently added these files to my file space in Canvas. This allows me to quickly and easily add them to my home page. Let's start with the header. On the home page, click Edit. You'll notice the rich content editor is rather small, but you can fix that by dragging this icon down. To delete the current header, click on the image, then delete on your keyboard. On the toolbar, click the image icon. Here we have three options. The first option is upload image. This allows me to access the files I have on my computer. Course images are the images I have uploaded into my files in this Canvas course. The last option, user images, are the files I've uploaded into Canvas but are potentially in another course. You can also view your Canvas files here. Because I have already uploaded my images into my Canvas file space, I will select Course Images. Once I click on the image, it will automatically insert into my rich content editor. I can see that this size doesn't quite fit the page. To alter the size, click on the image and you'll notice an Options button appear near the image. On this tray, I can change the alt text and the size of my image. Let's start at the top. The alt text, also known as alt attributes, is read by screen readers in place of images, allowing the content and function of the button to be accessible by all. This alternative text is displayed in place of the image if the image file does not load for whatever reason. It defaults to the name of the button, but we can tweak the name. I'm going to remove PNG so it reads Astronomy Homepage Header. At the bottom, I have the ability to change the size of the header. I'm going to select Custom and then type in the size of the header, 750 by 250 pixels. Next, I'll center the header on the page. I can keep adjusting the size until it's the size I want. If I wanted to, I could customize the text using these features here. Next, I will add my buttons. Make sure your cursor is near where you want to insert your buttons. Then, go back up to the image icon and select Course Images. Remember, if I hadn't already uploaded all of my files into Canvas, I could select Upload Image and then select the files from my computer. I'll first add my Links button. Then I'll add my Modules button. I'd like to make sure the alt text is correct, so I'll click on the image, then Options. On the flyout tray, I will delete PNG so it just reads links. I will adjust the size to small to see if I like that better. I'll do the same thing to modules. Click the image, then options, adjust the alt text, and then change the size. I can delete the other information and the footer if I want. Then I'll save to see how it looks. You'll notice links and modules are simply images and they are not functioning like buttons yet. I need to link them in order for them to function as buttons. To do so, click Edit. Let's first take a look at modules. 
Click the image, then on the toolbar, find the link icon. There are two options. External links allow you to link to a website outside of Canvas such as Google or Seesaw. If you click Course Links, the flyout menu allows you to link that image to various things in Canvas. Pages, assignments, quizzes, announcements, discussions, modules, and course navigation. Because this is my Modules button, I want to link to a specific module, so I will click the arrow next to Modules and select that specific module. Click Save. Now when I click Modules, the image now functions as a button because I've linked it. It takes me to the list of all of my modules. You may not want your students to see all of the modules, so you can instead link the Modules button to the first page in the module. Let's take a look. We want to remove the current link on the Modules button, so let's first click Edit. Then select the button. Click the link icon. Then select Remove Link. Now when I click Links again, I'm able to select Course Links. This time I will click the arrow next to Pages and I will see a long list of pages. I have a lot of pages in this course. Luckily they are alphabetized. Once I find the correct page, select the page, then click Save. Now instead of this button taking my students to the list of modules, now my students will click Modules. It will take them to the first page of the module instead of the list of modules. Both ways work. You can decide which way of linking will work best for your students. Now I want to link my links image to a page. I haven't created a links page yet, so I will do that first. On the course navigation, click Pages. Then View All Pages. Here I am able to add a new page. I'll title it Links. You'll notice this is a blank page. I now have the ability to customize this Links page for my students. I can add a header, buttons, etc. Because it's a Links page, I envision this page perhaps being the hub for all of the websites my students frequently visit. For now, I'll click Save and design that page later. Click Home to return to your home page. Now click Edit, and I'll go through those same steps as before. You'll notice my page isn't perfect. I'm learning as I'm going. I will probably go back and redesign my headers and buttons since I know a little bit more about design and what I want my Canvas course and its pages to look like. The Rich Content Editor allows you to customize your course in a way that functions best for your students. And tools such as Google Drawing, Adobe Spark, and Canva allow you to design awesome graphics to personalize your course. We can't wait to see what you've designed.